Welcome back. You know, every now and then you run across an exceptional young man. Uh, and this is one of them. Keep on hearing that uh, everybody's got, you know, a lot of scourge about the future, you know. Oh, the kids today. Well, not all the kids are that bad. Uh, I have the good fortune to keep on running into some good ones. And this kid is, a, a, you know, definitely right up there. And as young as he is, uh, to have this much knowledge of what's uh, going down, he's, you know, give you some hope. I applaud his parents and uh, whatever teachers he's listening to, the teaching them right and, the, and his intelligence to be able to avoid the ones that aren't. So I uh, hope you enjoy this young man, and along the way we run into a couple of other cucks and uh, and other people come by. So it makes it more a little bit interesting. We get people running and getting out of this one. You know what you do. If you like it, you like it. If you care, you share. And uh, subscribe, and then if you're already subscribed, hit that subscribe button again. And... Uh, uh, if you can support me, uh, badassunclesam.com, go to my uh, site and hit the shop button or hit that Patreon button and uh, and support me. I damn sure could use it. So, without further ado, let's get to this one. They don't call me badass and Uncle Sam for nothing, do they? I love it. I love a good fight. I live for it. I mean, people that think we need socialism in this country, like AOC, I don't even think they know what socialism is. Well, she's totally a puppet. She's being handled. Oh, yeah. She hasn't got her own mind. There's a good YouTube to watch. I mean, didn't she? She's currently in, like, a corporate fraud right now, right? Oh, sure. Yeah. Like, and she got exposed. And she was, there was like a big Twitter video about her asking like the exact stuff. Yeah. What not, like how she couldn't stand these people and she did the exact stuff they did. Exactly. It's, it's so yeah. dumb. So the hypocrisy is going to come through. They're going to show. They always get exposed. They always do. Truth always comes out. Always. Especially now when there's a phone and camera and Thank computer. Thank you. Thank you. Glad they weren't around when I was in college. We're all, yeah, I know. <laughs> We're all Edward R. Morrow now, you know, so it's I'm a, always telling you, I'm like, do not post yourself in a Halloween costume. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no. no blackface or, you know, clans outfits. No, I mean, <laughs> there are people at my school that are part of the LGBTQIA RGBQ, I don't even know. They're part of that group. And one of my good friends, he made a joke. And he called LGBT losers getting bullied together. And a girl that identifies as non-binary came over and tried to attack him. And she got suspended. Good. Zed. Zed got suspended too? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Who was it that she went after? Pete. You, you don't know Peter Brown. And she's all... She's all uh, she, she, she's all talking about being tolerant and accepting. Yeah, well, that's, oh, yeah. again, more hypocrisy, yeah. Her name's really sad, but she changed her name. Yes, because it equals all right. Do you want to get Papa a hat? Sure. Okay. But How you doing? Okay. So do you, I got you. Can you answer my question? Do you think the you think the liberals are going to accept the, the no collusion with Trump Russia? You know, you think know. that they'll accept that? I don't know. Will Republicans accept that it didn't exonerate him? Is the question. Well, no, no, no indictments. So you know, no like, indictments. He's only going to give up. I mean, he's only going to be president like one more year. Like, really? I, I mean, I think. Hopefully Where are you from? Like, London. Maybe. London. Yeah, London Stone. Like, yeah. London You know about Tommy London, Robinson? Robinson. Yeah, I do. I met Tommy Robinson. Robinson. You met Tommy Robinson? Yeah. Yeah. Where at? You already uh, talked to him. We're like, what do you think of our crazy? They're Not a pleasant man. You don't like him? Like I don't know. But but yeah. What was not pleasant about him? His demeanor. His demeanor? His demeanor. What was with his What's with all the. Uh, the, 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 the it's it's my, the, my work. That's the, pizza, the pizza gate thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Well, it's about the pedophilia that's in our, you know, 
our society and in our political system. That's how pretty much they do blackmail a lot of politicians. And, uh, yeah. It's a satanic ritual. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Child prostitution. So how do we know about that? Oh, it's been exposed. Look at the Franklin cover-up. The Franklin cover-up was exposed when Bush one was in office. That one, it was about a a sex ring, a child sex ring that went from Boys Town straight into the White House. Uh, the documentary is going to be shown on the Discovery Channel, uh, and the week it was supposed to be shown, they came down to destroy all copies. Well, of course, not that all copies were destroyed. You can still see the Franklin cover-up uh, about Larry King, who was the head of Boys Town, who was a sadistic pedophile, who was farming out boys uh, to, uh, you know, politicians. So who are the who are the who are the goodies then? Hmm? Who are the goodies then? Who who have we got left? Who are, the, who are the good guys? Well, Trump started the pedophile task force ring the second month he was in office, and we've busted over 20,000 pedophiles, some of the largest pedophile rings going. So he's been busting a lot of those rings up, uh, working his way up the food chain to catch the Epsteins and the Clintons and the ones that are on top of the food chain. Right now. The Clintons are pedophiles, then? Oh, sure. Okay. Well, they run, if they're not the pedophiles themselves, they certainly do uh, feed off of the uh, corruption from it. They use it to control other politicians. I mean, look at uh, Bohemia Grove. Bohemia Grove is a good example. You know, where they, you know, for two weeks out of every year, politicians get together in, in the woods in Northern California. And uh, it's all male, and they have homosexual orgies, dress in clan outfits, and, and worship a 40-foot owl deity named Moloch. That has been the filmed. The they have been filmed. They, that's been filmed. Uh, We've had infiltrators go in and film that. Richard Nixon said it was the most faggoty thing he's ever been to. You guys want me to? Oh. No, it's really Clint Richard, was, Richard was, was Nixon is famously the arbiter of truth. Well, you know, uh, again, Bushes were at it, uh, Carter went to it. Uh, I mean, you know, there are a lot of politicians that have gone to it. The Bushes and the Carters went to it. Oh, sure. This gay orgy. Oh, thank you. You can see the pictures. Oh, you can see the pictures of them at Fihimi Crow, yeah. Oof. I mean, don't take my word for it. You can see it on that thing she's got in her hand. Don't think I'm just spouting out BS here. Some, some owl, owl yeah. orgies later. Yeah, look up Bohemia Grove. Look up at the history of Bohemia Grove and see if I'm, you know, talking BS. Uh, and what about yeah. the vaccines? At, they're they're not good at, either. Some vaccines are good, some are bad. But I, I'm leery about anything you put directly into your bloodstream that bypasses all, you know, your, your body natural defenses. And then when you have the government start to mandate vaccines, you got a big problem. Yeah, even there. Yeah. I just need to buy a hat. Can I get one? Sure. All right. <laughs> one or two? Uh, just one. All right. How much are you? $12,000. Take it out of my tax. <laughs> <laughs> I consider myself a constitutional conservative. There you go. But, I mean, I've read some libertarian work like Ayn Rand. But I, I wouldn't really consider myself a libertarian because I don't support like a lot. I don't support drug legalization or um, like just a lot of things. I mean, I, I believe in like the minimization of the state, but not in a lot of things that like the libertarians want. Well, you see, I disagree with you on the uh, drug thing for this reason. I think you ought to be educated to the drugs, and then when you get legal age, if you know what they're doing, right? What? If you know what the drugs do to you, when you get of legal age, if you still want to do the drugs out of harm, it doesn't make any difference. Prohibition never works. You can't save people from themselves. I mean, that's true. The only drug that should be legal is devil's breath. That's a drug that's a daybreak drug. That's a drug that you would take advantage of somebody else of. But the idea is this. You educate 
the kids to what drugs do. Yeah, I mean, look, this is what this, this is, see this guy, this really healthy guy, this is him, picture of him then, this is him now. And then when you get to of age, because what happens with prohibition, you create a whole nother problem with police corruption. Yeah, no, it happens politicians. with alcohol in the 20s. Thank you. I, I spoke to a customs agent, two customs agents out here last week, undercover, and I said, should the, what's happened on the border with the smuggling? I says, why is the border open? He says, well, the border's open because a lot of politicians want it open, because they're in league with the drug cartels, and they're making money that's for the true. drug cartels, so they don't want a closed border. Yeah. So we got politicians that are being corrupted because of the drugs. So we, if they were legal, that would be, a, you know. But I mean, then again, I don't think we should just enable it. Well, you wouldn't enable it. Again, if you educate people to what it is, they have their own mind. You're a smart man. If you wouldn't do it. Yeah. How much time have yeah. you spent on the, the international border with us? Why? What's that got to do with it? I'm just wondering how much time, because I know people in this community, so I'm wondering how much time you've spent there. Well, I've spent enough time out here talking to border agents and people that live on the border. Okay. Uh, to get a very good opinion from them. Okay. That of what, you know, and I've gotten pro and con. Yeah. But mostly it's, I've talked to the people that, I, that I've talked to that says, that give me the opinion that we need a secure border. Mm-hmm. You know, they'd be good to have, they'd be good to have. Mm-hmm. That I've, I mean, I've talked to farmers, I got so tired of them cutting through the fences uh-huh. that they put ladders over the fences so that, you know, the guys would just crawl over the fences while yeah. destroying their, you know, their fences. Uh-huh. And I've talked to border agents that told me, yeah, in some places a wall would help. They need it. You know, other places wouldn't make any difference because the terrain would, you know, is a natural barrier. Or, you know, they could use drones or whatever technology to take care of sensors. So I think it's a combination of things that would work to help keep our secure border. I think we need a secure border. I mean, otherwise, you know, we don't know who's coming in. We need some, at least some idea of who's coming in over the border. You know, we don't mind immigrants, love immigrants. We're a nation of immigrants, just come in legally. That's all. Great. Thank you. Did I answer your question? No, did I just ha- yeah, you have, because you said you haven't spent time at the border. So, yes. But. I don't know. What do you think? What's your opinion? I know. I, I spend a lot of time at the border. I spend a lot of time with kids with dual citizenship. I work in schools. Uh-huh. Um, I know a lot of productive um, dual citizenship children whose parents live on the other side of the border and, yeah. and they cross the border to come to school yeah. who are doing really well. And yeah. I think um, I think it, it, it becomes a, a polar uh, conversation when you're there. But I haven't spent too much time at the border finding that people are hyped and upset that the border is not closed, right? No, no, so, I think it's a lot of it's a case by case. Here. People that are are adding to our society, yeah, are productive yeah. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Look, we should put them at, you know, the back, you know, on the, uh, you know where yeah. they shouldn't be a priority. Yeah. I'm worried about the, you know, the, 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 the people that are trafficking drugs and, and children and yeah. things. You know, and, and, that's and what I, I worry say, about. I, I but the productive the people, people fine. The, Why should we worry about them? I think most of the people that live in the communities think that the drugs will be trafficked in, regardless if they're there are well, there's always going to yet. be that problem. There's always a mule. But there's I always think, a mule yeah, but there's, and then there's, the rest of them get Why mule. make it easy? Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. There's always going to be that problem. Yeah. Unless we, as I said, unless we make drugs legal and then we get a better handle on all that. But, you know, yeah. I wish we could yeah. take care, you know, come together and do the deals rather than the politicians. The people I speak to out here on the street come up with better ideas than the politicians seem to come up with. So, you know. All right. Well, thank you. All right. I don't know. I can't believe people think we should have an open border or a non-regulated border. Well, an open border is stupid, obviously. That's one of the main tenets, as much as people don't want to admit it. Socialism advocates for open borders. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. Well, it's all about bringing down Western society. See, the elites want to bring down Western society, yeah. so they can make you know bring us all down and then bring in a one-world government. Uh, yeah. It's just I don't understand why. 
people just can so easily be brainwashed. Like, all you have to do is look into the facts. It's, all, it's, it's so easy. Take a sales course. It's easy to find out how easily you can brainwash people. <laughs> and then people that want, like, a 70% tax rate. It's like... It, taxes are like people coming... It's like... I understand it's a the government, but say somebody came up randomly and said, give me 70% of your money, put you to gunpoint... You wouldn't do it. Exactly. It's just stealing. But you're a very intelligent I mean, young man. I certainly hope. Doesn't work for what my are you planning on doing with yourself? Uh, what I do want you... to be a politician. Okay, good. I mean, just. I don't. But you know, you know the fact. Speaking of the founding fathers, politicians didn't want career politicians. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't matter. It, we should have. And not, I'm not right, but there should be more people that think like I do, that believe that we shouldn't have <laughs> socialism yeah. anywhere. Well, just, it you know, doesn't work. There's a lot of ways you can affect policy outside. I mean, you can do your sprint as a politician, and there's other ways you can also affect policy outside of that. Yeah. But I'm glad you are thinking the way you are. I think you got a great head on your shoulders. I would vote for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... The way it's going, it's it's just, I understand, like, people in my generation, nobody, everyone's tired of all this crap that we're being fed to, being fed. It's all untrue. It's not real. It's not going to, it's just not going to work. Socialism's not going to work. Uh, a one-world government's not going to work. People, it's like, it's just, you can look at the Nazis, they were socialists. Hitler seized the means of production. <laughs> and they call him a right winger. He was not a right winger whatsoever. He just was a nationalist. Like, so? Economically, he was left wing. You can look at. And then there's a, a kid at my school that is a self proclaimed socialist. And every time I bring up, like, socialism doesn't work, like the USSR, he always says, like, that was under a dictatorship. But early America, when we came into the colonies, they were socialist colonies. They probably they tried to do socialism in the Renault colony everyone died because of it yeah, they in the Jamestown colony they quit socialism after 50% died and in the Plymouth County after 90% died that's when they stopped like even non dictatorial socialism now what do you say work. to the, the, the people that tell you well we got socialist countries in Europe that are working Denmark there's no Europe. socialist European country thank you it's, they like they're like but look at Scandinavia they have socialist they, programs it's, it's but like, they were they all they afford have them good. from capitalism. Yeah, no, it's it's like you can look out the Scandinavian countries, people cite them as socialists. They just have high tax rate and good civic serv and good civil services. They're in no way. They all have free mar I'd say free market economy. It's none whatsoever socialist. It's like well, I mean you can look at countries like USSR back in the like during before Stalin's death in fifty three, you can look at that. Is that fun? And then they say, but it was dictatorial. It doesn't matter what it is. They were trying to achieve socialism. At the point of a gun. And he killed sites between twenty five million to sixty million. Yep. And then he, and if you don't buy that, look at Mao. Seventy million people, forty five million in the Great Leap Forward. But it was dictatorial. It, it doesn't matter how you're trying to achieve it. If, like, it doesn't matter if you're taking away individual rights. It's just not worth it whatsoever. If I count all the babies they aborted too. Oh, oh yeah. my yeah. god. Abortion is so yeah, I know. sick. Yeah. It's, just, it's like, how many they, How many people has, how many uh, babies has Planned Parenthood killed? Like 350 million? Is that what it is? Like, last time I checked. It's just... And it's like, people argue it's not a baby yet, and sure, it might not be a baby yet, but the thing is, it has the potential to be alive. It's like, in like America, there's the right to live. I mean, sure, people might say it doesn't apply to a fetus, but it doesn't matter. It's like, if somebody was in a coma, completely unconscious, you just pulled a plug because you Have you seen alive? what's happened to the pendulum that swung? When they came out and said, you know, with the whole infanticide thing, it's okay to kill a baby, whatever. All of us, 17 points it went to, oh, we don't believe in abortion anymore. It jumped up. They jumped the shark. Yeah, because abortion, it's just not okay. 
Yeah. About people that are nervous. You're a bright young man. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Good talking to you. Yes, sir. So the kids were not bad, huh? Would you vote for him? Hell, he's smarter. <laughs> he's smarter right now than a lot of uh, all the candidates put together on the Democratic side. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'd give him my vote. So if you like it, you like it. If you care, you share. You know the routine. And uh, I want to thank you for stopping by. And God bless you. See you on the streets next time.